Hey guys, and thank you for tuning in today. I'm super happy to have you with me. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can render a car in Photoshop from... We have the line work already done. So I'm going to render this and walk you through the uh, process. So put the line work in a multiply layer and put that layer on top. That's going to help us to guide us where we need to put the shading and the highlights. So I'm starting off with two strokes of airbrush. One going this way and the other one going over there. And that's just a simple black airbrush that we put over the uh, line work that we already have. Now from here I want to start to create the horizon line that is reflected in the surface body of the surface. Surface of the body, I mean. Sorry about that. So we have the light coming from here, shining super bright, and that will give us a hint on where to put the white and black airbrush. So on the shoulder line here, since it's bulging and it's um, it's a curved area, that means that the top, the surfaces that, that are facing upwards needs to be lighter than the surfaces that are facing sidewards and downwards. So especially the roof is going to be brighter since it's since it has the sky reflecting in it so the basics here are white and black airbrush plus a hard eraser to erase whatever airbrush you don't need so if i mean right now you could stop here and you would still understand the surface of the 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 surface of the design but if you want to continue to keep adding features, that's okay, and that's what I'm going to do here. We have this kind of um, edge, or whatever you want to call it, that's facing downward, so I want to make that a bit darker than the rest of the body. And this diffuser at the back, it's supposed to be some sort of plastic, and that's going to be black, where the exhausts are installed. Still using the same tools, just a black airbrush and a hard eraser to define it. And for for this smooth transitions where there is a curve, a curvature, I'm using a, I sometimes use a uh, airbrush to erase as well, just to get the smooth transitions. And I think we're done with the basic shading of the design, so I'm gonna jump into putting highlights now. And that means that all edges that are facing towards the sky needs to be brighter than the rest of the edges. I think I think a lot of people have problems with this because they they forget where the light source is and that's messing everything up and it's it's very confusing to know where to put the highlights and where to put black and white and the shadows and so on. So always keep in mind with the sh with a uh, where the sun or the light is coming from and that should help you a lot when doing this also you want to put a baseline so the the line that is closest to the ground should be thicker than the rest of the lines that gives it a bit of weight to the car or the product that you're sketching it looks like it's sitting on a surface so keep that in mind and do the uh, the baseline a bit thicker than the rest of the lines I'm gonna make an overlay layer now. So I'm making a new layer, putting it in overlay. And that's gonna make the reflections really come alive. So I'm using a overlay layer and a white airbrush, white and black airbrush. And I'm I'm filling in the the areas that are already white. I fill that in with the overlay layer and it's gonna make the reflections pop. If you like, you can add a screen or color dodge layer to put light in here, but it kind of looks weird on this sketch. I don't know, I think I'm going to delete that. 
and just make a general blue shade over the entire car. And that's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something. If you have any questions, use the uh, discussion board and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.